There's an upper and lower trail here coming from Kearsarge Pass or to Kearsarge Pass, the direction we're headed. These are the Kearsarge Lakes and the Pinnacles. They're numbered 1 through 12, 1 being on the left, 12 on the right. And I think here between, I'm going to say between numbers 10 and 11, kind of where that little snow patch is, is uh, I believe the chute that I was in the other day. And you can kind of see, I could have made it to the top. I really just kind of ran out of time. I was up just about to center a frame here and uh, had a little bit of go and not enough time. So, but it was a good day. Kind of broke the ice on some of the climbing skills and all and uh, got me past my intrepidation from not having done anything on rock for a year or so. And I'm looking over here, uh, you can see my chute up to University Shoulder that I took last year is right there. Just where that little patch of snow is um, right there and just to the right of it, that, that little patch of snow. So that's the way I went up last year. That would be difficult this year just on loose rock and scree. Uh, easy to come down because you can really just kind of ride it down. But uh, I don't know if I would want to climb that up. Our weather has cleared. Mount Brewer is much more visible. It was kind of dark before. We still have some dark ominous clouds building. Uh, we actually have some sunlight that's come out. I'm watching these clouds here on the other side of University Peak and we should be able to get over the pass and down. Owens Valley is pretty dry, so I think once we get over the pass, we should be fairly well okay, unless there's something imminent. So we'll check in later. Here's another perspective of that pinnacle that I went up that chute. This guy right here. can't really see in the viewfinder as far as where I went. I think just about to center a frame here. It was a good exercise. I had headed over to go either explore Bullfrog or to um, uh, explore this north end of the Pinnacles and saw that chute and just kind of took the opportunity. It was the Kearsarge Lakes. Kearsarge Pass is up here uh, where the jumble is, where it's uh, smooth and then disrupted by the jumble. And uh, I'm hoping to get there within an hour at 3.30, or if we take our time, four o'clock, and then from there it's mostly downhill, not all, but mostly back down to Indian Valley. It's cleared up. Uh, we've got kind of the same clouds around. It's actually, I uh, feel like a groundhog. I've seen my shadow. And um, uh, all this stuff I think is just gonna stay away and there's no lightning in it that I can tell. I haven't heard any thunder. So if it's just rain, even if we did get caught in it, that wouldn't be the end of the world and I don't think would stop us. There's Lee.